Whilst you were talking, we were just looking at a picture inside her brand new East Village flat where she is staying in detention with her ankle tag. And she was the one in the black hoodie and the black rim glasses, looking a little bit less glamorous than perhaps we're used to seeing her look. How is she affording that? A lot of people will say, you know, OK, so fair enough, Netflix uh, paid her a bit of money, but I, I hear she sold off some art. Was that art procured legally? I mean, a lot of people think, how on earth has she come and, you know, she's, she's not supposed to be in the country anyway. How has she managed to land a, a flat like that? And that's you in the pink dress, I believe. <laughs> yes, that is me in the pink dress. Um, well, you know, Anna has uh, kind of turned uh, into, you know, from con artist to artist. Um, she's been drawing while she was in detention. She started drawing a lot while she was actually on trial. She did some caricatures of the prosecutor, who I'm sure loved that. Uh, and then she began selling her art while in detention. Uh, you know, there's one thing you can say about Anna Del Delvey, whether or not she's sorry for what she did or not. She certainly made the most of her time in jail. Uh, she got a Netflix series. She started selling her art. She put on several um well-publicized shows in New York earlier this year. And um, she says that she is paying the $7,000 apartment uh, per month rent uh, just through her art sales. Wow. So it's, 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 to be honest, it sounds like it's worth um, getting involved in, in fraud, multi-million pound fraud, <laughs> given you get a Netflix series, you get some time in jail, you can sell some art, do some drawings and, and come out and get a bit of fame and money. Well, you know, um, it has certainly worked in Anna's favor, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, but, you know, for every Anna Delvey, there's there's many other people behind bars who are nameless and uh, do not have the same resources or connections that Anna does. Um, and I think for, for many people, um, it's not the answer, and it certainly uh, should not be the answer. Um, but, you know, Anna committed some crimes in her mid-20s, and she's now in her early 30s, and she's making the most of her past. Um, I think, though, beyond the crime she committed, her character um, and who she is is just uh, particularly enticing to people, particularly Americans. Americans love a con artist.